This video is a guideline for the installation of the Flexi 3M Traffic Authorized Version. It's important to install everything in the following order to avoid any issues. First, before installing any software, you want to set up the printer completely and make sure it's connected online. Then, you're going to want to make sure and download the traffic profiles directly to the printer from the control panel or through the media manager and transfer them to the printer via the printer embedded web server. If you have any questions about this process, just call your local printer dealer and they can help you out. Next, you'll want to go to the PC and download and install the Flexi software onto the PC. You can do this by going to saicloud.com, you log in with your email address and password, and download and install the software. Once it's installed, you can click on the Production Manager icon in order to launch our Production Manager. Once it's up, it'll automatically prompt you, if this is the first time opening it, to go ahead and set up your device. We'll go ahead and just set up a HP Latex 360 printer. Hit Next. You're going to put in your IP address and click OK. And once you've done that, you'll hit Finish. Now this may take a second for it to download all the profiles and the media settings from the printer. Allow that to finish, and then it may prompt you to uh, set the default media setting. You typically want to hit yes on this particular option. Once that is done, then we can move on to the next step. Once you set up your device, you're going to go into the printer itself, click on the name, and right click on it, and go to default job properties. This is going to pull up your default settings for this particular printer. You're going to want to make sure and set the preset to the style of media that you're using. So in this case, the 3430. You're going to click on the third tab to verify that you have the correct profile installed. So this is going to match this above here. We're going to hit apply and then click OK. Once we're done with that, we're going to right click on the same one again and we're going to go to the setup properties. And what you're going to do is change the name of the setup to match the media. So HP 3430. I can click OK. And now my uh, printer has been renamed for that particular media. You're going to keep doing this process by right clicking on the name of the printer and then selecting duplicate setup. This is going to duplicate the setup and allows you to create multiple settings for multiple different medias. So in this particular case, I can rename this uh, slightly differently, or if I want to hit finish first, this will duplicate it and automatically pull up the default job properties. Then I can choose the name from right here. So this will be the 3924. We verify our ICC profile settings. Hit apply, OK. And then you can right click, set up properties, and then change the name in here to match what you need it to be. Once you've set up all the devices and all the medias that you want to set up in your production manager, we're going to open up the Flexi portion of the design software. We're going to hit rip and print to pull up this window here. And this is where you're going to come up here to the top, and you're going to choose the device uh, setting that for the media. So in this case, if we want to print to the 3430, we're going to click on this one, and it should automatically load the 3430 material. You will want to make sure that this is automatically selected, so this must be checked in order for it to work properly. So make sure that this is selected, and then you can hit send to print. Another way to test your colors for your 3M Traffic Edition is to go into the Production Manager, switch back there, and right-click on the printer name, and do a test print. This will actually load a file that is a perfect test for all your colors. You'll see here that all the traffic colors are printed out in a row, and you can test them just like that. One thing that you'll want to make sure of, though, is run the HP Color Checker file uh, to, te to test the different uh, medias and the different colors, and if you're having any 
issues from there, you may want to contact HP in order to resolve some of those issues. Once you set this up, you can simply close the software. Once I've closed the Flexi and the Production Manager down, if I want to save this configuration for loading on another computer uh, for future reference, I can go to the Windows Start menu, find the, th the Flexi Authorized 3M Traffic Edition, and pull up the Preference Manager. Then, from here, I can hit Save and give this a name. and click OK. Once I'm done, I can select that and export this, and I can export it anywhere or from, from the desktop, and it will save as a PMF file. Hit Save, and then that can be loaded into any preference manager for any 3M traffic edition, and that can be loaded uh, with all the settings uh, for reference if needed. Once you've completed all these steps, if you're still having issues with color and getting those printer colors to come out correctly, you'll want to contact your local dealer to see if they can check your printer and software to see if there's any other problems.